Hey everyone, it's Brie. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Shimmers Paints Color Kits team. And um, this process video is going to be a little, um, not sad, but it kind of is. Um, this is going to be my last project for Shimmers Paints. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to them for having me, for having, um, you know, the faith in me. I think it would be going on five years since I was on their um design team and it's been like they were the very first design team I've tried out on or tried out for and then I made it so they took a chance on me and um it opened so many doors for me so thank you very much to Stacy, Sammy as well as Gracie um it's been an absolute pleasure designing with your products I'm, I'm gonna miss you and I know you guys I would I know I'll see y'all on social media but anyways so here is the December color kit um this one is Wild Spruce Chase, and I can't, I had the note in front of me as to which one is the new one. I'll try to put in the description box which color is the new one. I think it's Cranberry Cocktail. Anyways, okay, so Wild Spruce Chase, it is a black shade, and then it has like um, gold uh, shimmer in it. So there's that. This one is a Vibes in Elf and Magic. It's a really pretty green. And then there is a Hot Stuff. Uh, inklings. It's just this really pretty pink and with inklings as y'all know you just add water it, water to it to activate it. We get another inklings in Twinkle Twinkle. Really gorgeous. Like look at that sparkle. Wait it's not focusing. There it is. There's like glitter in there. Oh, it's fabulous. Or is this one the new one? I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I will maybe I'll put a note um, as I'm editing this. And then we get a Shimmers in Cranberry Cocktail, which is stunning, it's gorgeous. And as you know, Shimmers um, has the liquid already in it. I'm gonna turn it upside down so you guys can see it. Um, so you just stir it up and uh, to get all those bits mixed around. So that one is Cranberry Cocktail. Um, here is the uh, sequins um, set that comes in the color kit. Lots of glitter, lots of fun. I have an idea to use this because it has a lot of glitter um, and I have an idea. All right, and then here are the exclusive dots that come in this month's kit. Super cute. And then here is one of the cut files. There's two for December. One is a really cute gnome holding an ornament, and then there is this set of like holly berries. And I only cut the holly berries because I do uh, have a plan for these. So that is the color kit. Stay tuned for the process video that will be happening in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and start working on this layout. I did want to mention real quick, I know in my unboxing, I wasn't, couldn't remember which one was a new color, but it is the Cranberry Cocktail Shimmers. That is a new color um, that was released. So first of all, I took all of my holly berries that I had cut out and I'm going to go ahead and arrange them on my, um, my base here. Now I do end up changing the design of my layout. I did want, and the like my original thought was to have like a wreath and, um, you know, use them that way. But then again, I, ch I changed my mind and then I ended up making like half wreaths, one on the top and then one on the bottom. So you'll see here, um, in just a few minutes, uh, like exactly what I do. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and paint up the, um, the berries from the cut file and I didn't use the little gnome I just wanted it just to highlight uh, the berries and all I'm doing is I, I have the color both of the colors down on my mat and then I'm just gonna smush each one into the paint and then so I smush the ones into the cranberry cocktail um, and then I take the no I'm sorry the hot stuff inklings and then I paint on the cranberry cocktail which is a little bit darker just to give it some like, you know, depth and um, dimension and just, you know, for some shadows as well. So I painted all those and then I'm going to move on to the leaves portion of the cut file and I sprayed them using Elfin Magic. And to be honest, I legit totally forgot about Wild Spruce um, until like you'll see later on in the process, like, oh my gosh, I need to paint the paint the leaves on um, or paint this color onto the leaves. And it end up it ends up working out perfectly and just fine. But you'll see, <laughs> you'll see here later on in this video, uh, me adding the Wild Spruce. So I just quickly sprayed each of the leaves and then I'm just making sure there's a lot of coverage. And then now, um, now that my holly berries are for the most part dry, I'm taking some of my uh, matte gel medium and I'm painting it on and then I'm taking the sequin mix from the kit and because it has 
a lot of glitter in it, I really wanted to keep that glitter, right? So I'm basically just dipping each of the berries into this glittery sequin mix to make them sparkle and make them so pretty. So I'm just painting on that matte gel and then dipping the berries into each of the, or into the sequin mix. And you'll see, I'll show an up close shot of those, um, but they're drying now. And um, I think they look so pretty. They're so sparkly and sugary and they're so fun. So to add a little bit of extra sparkle, I took the Twinkle Twinkle Inklings and I'm painting that on and um, onto all the leaves and then I'll set that aside. And here are all those berries. Look how cute those are. Um, the sequin mix is called Sugar Plum Sweet and I thought that they, um, I thought it looked so cute on each of the berries like that. So here is that design I was talking about. What I did was I glued the, um, the cut file down and then I popped each of the inner pieces of the cut file up on foam tape and just uh, stack them right into the cut file. So it's got lots, lots of dimension. I made sure to only apply the foam tape on like the um, insides of the leaves so that, you know, they could kind of um, lift up and just um, have that fun dimension. So I'm using some old Hip Kit Club kits. Uh, this was a Christmas kit and I can't remember if it's from 2020. I believe it's from 2020. Ooh, I can't remember. Um, I just have a lot of Christmas stash. So I'm trying to go through all of my stuff and use up a lot of my stash. And I thought this kit was, um, was perfect, especially because I, it has a lot of the like flowers and leaves. And I really wanted to tuck all those bits into the, um, blank spaces of all the holly berries. So I'm just building some clusters here and then I'm going to work in a few of those or all of the dots from the kit here in just a second. Um, so I'm opening them up and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add some tangle thread and then get my dots where I want them. So I didn't, I guess I did embellish pretty heavily in regard to like using a lot of the leaves and the uh, florals, um, just tucking them in and making each uh, half wreath really full. And I love how it turned out. And I, I'm so happy with how the berries turned out. I think they're so fun. And it's just a, another like fun technique to use um, like a sequin mix if it has lots of glitter. I did think about uh, making shakers using, like I would, if I did use the gnome, I was gonna turn like the ornament into a shaker. But I thought this was a, a fun alternative. So here is me adding that beautiful wild spruce chase vibes. It's so gorgeous. Um, and I painted it on and, but then I, for the most part, I just dipped my finger into the color and, um, added it on that way. Uh, it's such a gorgeous deep green. Oh, it's so fantastic. So my favorite greens like of this color or like this shade is the wild spruce as well as velveteen green. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So here is the finished layout. Um, you can see all the color, all the sparkle, and then some of those bits and pieces from the floral and uh, leaves tucked in. So yeah, but thank you so much again for watching, commenting, and subscribing. This is my last layout for Shimmer's Paints. It's totally bittersweet. Um, I'm gonna miss designing for them, but I will always use Shimmer's Paints on almost all of my layouts. So um, I will always be a huge fan. So thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.